Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to give you a short overview of TAC, which you can find at tac.com, and that's TAC with two Ks. And I'm going to use this tool to create a little digital portfolio about a field trip. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to log into my account. You notice there's a bunch of ways that you can log in. You can even use your Edmodo account if you're an Edmodo user to log in to TAC. So here I am in my home page, and you can see I have a little gallery of things that I've made in the past. And I want to create a new TAC board. So in the upper right corner here, you click the pencil icon, and you can choose from a variety of template layouts, or you can simply use a blank canvas, which is what I'll do here. So to get started here, let's give this a headline. And we'll say, it's my trip to New York City. Now I'll add some text below. A short review of my trip. Let's go ahead and get started by adding a photo to my story. Now I can do a search for pictures using 500 pics. Uh, I can also pull in things from my Instagram account. If I have something hosted online on Flickr, for example, I can grab the URL for it and link to it. Or I'll simply upload a picture. And there's a picture I want to upload. And we'll click Done. And now let's add some text below it. Say, so this is a picture of the stuffed animals were the basis for the writing of Winnie the Pooh. They were on display at the New York Public Library. Now, I want to add the location of the New York Public Library. So I'm going to select the map option here. And I'll simply enter New York Public Library. And now we drop the place mark on the map. We'll say add the map. And I can continue to add content to my heart's content using this same pattern of selecting the type of thing that I want to add I want to add some other media. If I want to send out invitations to an event, I can add those. Uh, but for most classroom purposes, we're just going to look at the photo, video, music, uh, and text options here. Okay. Now, one important thing to note is that we want to disable allowing anonymous posts. Um, this is where people can comment on your TAC board, and I'm going to disable that in a classroom setting. Uh, over here on the right-hand side, we can also customize the look of our tax stream. Perhaps I want to use a blue background or a reddish background. I can do that. I can also go with an entire theme here. We can customize my fonts. So let's say I want to change up my font style. I can do that. We can apply patterns to the background if we like. There we go. There are other options here. Now, by default, your tack board is going to be public. You can make it private if you'd like to. From here, you can also customize your background. If you have your own domain, you could point to your own domain there. You can customize your tack URL when you want to. And you can turn off your comment stream if you don't want to allow commenting on your tack board. Now let's go ahead and publish this. And you can see now we can share this in a variety of formats. Again, we have the Edmodo option, we have Google+, Twitter. And you'll see down here we also have a link directly to the TAC board. So you can just copy and paste that and give that to, to folks as well. Or you can embed the whole thing into your blogger blog, 
WordPress blog or whatever uh, platform you're using. So you click the embed option and here you can grab the embed code for your TAC board. So that's TAC in a nutshell. I think it's a great little tool for creating small digital portfolios or little summaries of events like my trip to New York City. So for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.